this is the most danger-packed show on television. Every jump, every aerial maneuver is real. Photographed just as it happened, without tricks or illusion. All that stands between the jumper and death is his ripcord. So, ladies and gentlemen, Buckner now trails defending champion Ted McKeever by five slim points. Pardon me. Has Ted McKeever jumped yet? Yes, he has. Well, then maybe you could tell me the way to the swimming pool? Well, the shortcut's through the clubhouse. Just follow the line of casualties. You're still upright. I'm one of the walking wounded. I love older men. Him, Tarzan. Me, Jane. Very funny. Ha ha. Me, still Jane. Kip, look who's coming. Hi. Hi. Uh, I've got a wet 20 here somewhere. I don't know whether it's any good or not. Why don't you try it? Can. Now, about your timing. I want to talk to you about that. It's horrible. Who is he? Somebody I should know. He's my partner. Come on, Ted. We've got to get going. I've got an investment here. Look, Ted. Chuck got a call from Sonora, Mexico. We got a job airlifting supplies into a mining party. It's urgent, it's immediate, and it pays money. Why didn't you say so? Well, I've been trying to tell you for five minutes. Well, why don't you just look at this as uh, a deposit? How long will this booth be open? Until 5.30 next Sunday. I'll be back. I'll see that he gets here. Two hours later, we were headed for Sonora. That's the way it goes when you're a parachute for hire. Chuck Lambert flew for us. Our assignment was to deliver supplies and a sensitive instrument to a team of mining engineers. They were deep in the Sierra Madre in central Mexico. There was a little trading post close to where they were supposed to be. We headed for it. Get us another blanket. You better wrap this thing in cotton. Yeah, we gotta pack that good. You know, it's gotta be strapped to your leg when we jump. Let me see that. Easy, Jocko. That's none of your business. Yes, it is. I need it. I'm a prospector. My name is Kruger. Henry Kruger. Now, be careful with it. It's delicate. Don't tell me about scintillation counters. I've used them all over the world. I broke mine three days ago, just when I needed it most. The outcropping is thorium. This will show me how deep it goes. Well, I'm sorry to rush you, but it's moving out time. Tell your party it got smashed. I'll buy it from you. $500, okay? That's a fair price. No sale. 
Wait a minute, buddy. In your white suit and your pretty black boots, you're forgetting something. This ain't the States. You can't make a phone call for the law. Out here, the only... The only law out here is what a man makes for himself. You, uh... Figure you're not making some? I'm figuring on taking that thing away from you. Take it and you can have it. Airplanes make you soft. You should walk more. You want to bet on your friend? I got money. I don't bet. How much you got? Fifty. American. Put it on the wood. instrument. This is Anxious. Hello, aircraft. You read me. Over. Anxious, this is Skydiver. Read you five by five. Over. My name is Perito. Repeat, Perito. Were you looking for us? Over. You're our man. We've got a gadget for you. You want it? Over. Yes, we do. Can you drop it safely? It's a delicate instrument. Over. We don't intend to drop it. We'll bring it down. Over and out. <laughs> Don't they have parachutes? They better. Few. Tell me why. That's a long-range Super Geiger counter. See that cliff over there, Mr. McKeever? Well, unless we're very wrong, that outcropping holds a tremendous deposit of strategic materials. It could be a multi-million dollar find. And this gadget, as you call it, will enable us to sound it all the way to the top. You mean you're going to climb that thing? Oh, yes, right away. And we can't take too many supplies with us. Hadn't you better ask about that, Dr. Burrito? Yes, uh, in three days, we'll be up on the rim rock above that cliff. Would it be possible for you to drop supplies to us there? No sweat. We should be back in about three days. We better get going. It's a long walk. Where's your plane? About 20 miles north. It's the only place we could find to put it down. Reach for the ripcords, the 
darn thing was gone. Where you been? Why don't you park closer? Why don't you pay me enough? There's two or three places you're gonna put that thing down. Well, certainly there are, all the way along there. Now you boys are a little blubbery. You need the exercise. Three days later, we were back from Monterey with the supplies. Now our job was to find the climbers. Stan, come in, Stan. Nobody's in camp. Maybe they're climbing. Even then, they could answer us on their walkie-talkie. Stan, do you receive me? There's a skydiver. Temperature drops to zero around here at night. Their injuries don't kill them. Tonight's freeze will. How about a helicopter? Can land on the ridgeback. Where are you going to get a chopper in Mexico? For five hours till sundown. Chuck, how about landing us on the ridgeback? Triple suicide. You made the same kind of a landing in Peru. But the wind was right. It isn't today. Let's take a closer look. Looks pretty good dead ahead. That figures the one place there isn't any rocks is a hole. I'd rather take a chance with parachutes myself. How about the cross current? It almost blew the plane into the canyon. What do you think it's going to do to the chutes? We can drop through the crosswind. And open out when we came out the bottom side. Sure. Lots of luck. <laughs> yes, it's low. Get me down. Give me five to the right. Hold it there. Cut.
had to land on the rim rock and the crosswind was murder. Our drop zone was next to a giant rock pile, so we couldn't afford to miss. I saw where we might clear away some rocks on one side. Not much room even then, but it may be enough for Chuck to land. You and Jim rig a block and fall. We'll pull him up. All right. Dan? Dan? Can you move? Can you, move? Can you handle a rope? rope? Jim's a paramedic. He's coming down first. This reminds me of Benning. Remember what happened to the jump master when the rope broke? Yeah. They're going to need something to cushion them against the rocks on the way up. It's rough stuff. Yeah. I'd better get your gear and parachute. No, both of us, I'm afraid. Our legs. You think you can stand a parachute harness? Yes. Tug the rope when you're ready. Now, this will help keep you off the rocks on the way up. Feel all right? Yeah. It's after our supplies. One of them pushed me just as I got to the top. Stan says it wasn't an accident. They were pushed. Bandits. Bandits, huh? Anyone we know? Someone we know, all right. The plane was airborne with the injured couple. They'd have care very soon, but Jim and I, we were stuck 2,000 feet above the canyon floor. Then we saw him, Kruger and his sidekick, far below, too far. Then I remembered a trick from the airborne commandos. Si salgo de aquí, te mato. 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 Te mato.